And here were the Clippers arriving earlier, getting mentally prepared to go to work on the road. A clear, crisp evening in downtown Phoenix, home to their glimmering state-of-the-art arena. Welcome to 2K Sports, everyone. We have some exciting NBA action coming up. And this is Brian Anderson, along with Grant Hill and Brent Berry. Allie LaForce, our reporter tonight. Allie, it's all yours. Brian, as the NBA pivots away from the post and towards the perimeter, we're seeing more teams employ three-guard lineups to great effect, trading some size for skill. We'll see if the trend continues, but guys, for now, it seems that even if there's only one ball, having multiple ball handlers can be very effective. Very interesting, Alec. Good stuff there. Thank you. And here's a look at some numbers for Chris Paul. His ball distribution has been fantastic as of late. During these last 10 games, he's made sure to whip the ball around and try to find his guys in their spots on offense. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. Terrence Mann is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Batum in at the three spot. And for Phoenix, Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. Bridges and Crowder holding down the forward spots. And it's Aiden in at the five. Boy, some coaches starting to feel the hot seat now, Grant. You think players are aware when that's the case? No question, B.A. I mean, with how the present media is, it's impossible not to notice. But some coaches will discuss it and be open and transparent about it. And, of course, some coaches won't ever bring it up. Now here's Booker. The steal! Shots. I love it. Here's Zubox. Kicks it out to Jackson. Fires the three. Sinks the tray. Jackson. Coming out swinging and hitting the game's first bucket. Well, for us, it'll be interesting. Can they keep that kind of pace up all game long? Here's Booker. Really played well against Orlando in his last game. We're just confident right now, and I'd like to see him just be quick with those kind of decisions. Kale Bridges, man, has he grown in this league? Growing more and more deadly with that shot. Yeah, but he's increased the amount of threes he takes. He's gone from average shooter to a great one. A fantastic option to have out there on the wing. Here's Zubac. He played a great game against Golden State. Takes the three. Shot is off. Crowder outside. Pass to Paul. Three pointer bridges. And the Suns get another three. Chris Paul came into the league playing unselfish. Continues to do so. What a dive. His man. That shot off the mark. Now the Suns take it the other way. Still searching out their offensive game right now. One of five from the field to start this one. For Los Angeles, they've gone only one of five so far. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone by. Oh, he took the contact and tried to throw it down over the top. Instead, he'll shoot free throws. And it's going to go on Devin Booker. Should have get the first one. Terrence Mann, one of those guys in the draft, the didn't make it. People didn't realize was this good. And the Clippers have done a good job of developing him. And thinking about Mann, you love the competitiveness he shows on the court. Oh, I love it. He gets out there. He's aggressive on defense. That's a good play. And uh, he brings that kind of spirit to the game. I just love the ball. To the middle. Here's Batum. Oh, Aiden with the ball. Oh, he has the size ball. Get up quickly, Aiden with the throwback. Here's Zubac. Checking his stats. He's scoring around nine and a half points per game. Now here's Booker. Defense right on him. 
Cowan goes in. Four or five to start the game. That's got to be a feel good. Los Angeles has gone one for two from beyond the arc in this first quarter. Pass to Batum. Wide open. It's hauled in by the Suns. And he loved to make the pay for giving up that wide open jumper. Just unable to do so. And a foul ball on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. His first person has been accused of having some empty stats before. Mostly because the teams aren't winning. You can see now that the, the talent has always been there. And the winning's coming along with it. Booker showed he still puts up numbers when his team is a legit contender, Brent. Well, he's always been a gifted scorer. And now him learning about the value of both as his That's been amazing growth for team from Devin Booker. Holiday's now checked in for Paul. For your sons, Aaron Holiday. So it's the Clippers now. They trail by nine. And counted from 12 Marcus feet. Morris Sr. Here's Holiday. Averaging around six a game. Here's Booker. And Booker with the jam. Booker. Booker can mix it up. Once he's got a lane to the hoop, he jumps all over the defense there. Well, Los Angeles shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Pass to Batum. Hits the rim on the way in, and the bucket is good. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Bridges outside. From deep three-point range. That one's good. I'll give the assist to Booker. Booker's got three assists now on this one. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Here's Jackson. He takes it in. Oh, wait with the block. Booker with it. The tune's on him. Holiday from long range. Sends it home from three-point land. You can't help but look toward their defense. <laughs> They're totally lost. To the inside. And it's slammed in by the spots. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. Holiday passes to Bridges. Now here's Booker. For three. And the Suns get another three. Oh, man, they're having a hard time defending the triple. That's three in a row. Holiday against Jackson. Here's Batum. Gets the three to fall. Batum's got five. Oh, you got to love the back and forth. Showing real confidence at the arc. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line. Yeah, trying to take advantage from distance. Boy, I like their energy coming in. <laughs> Terrific execution so far. Well, if there were four or five boxes to check in terms of the game plan tonight, they might have checked six. I mean, they're doing everything out there. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. Got it. 13 points in the game. Oh. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. The Clippers have got 6 of 14 in so far. Tipped. Uh, more than capable as a defender. Bridges with a great shot using his length. Booker, pass to Holiday. Launches it. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Oh, good defensive intensity, but you have to stay in control always. And the Suns making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Covington's checked in for the Clippers. Coffee comes in for man. Uh, Devin Booker is among some of the youngest, most elite scorers that the league has ever seen. The sky is the limit for this guy. There's Jackson with the three. The rebound by Bridges. Drives in. And yep, it's good. That's a good find for Nate. Understanding the defensive scheme. And he just waited for his teammate to be open. And so it's Phoenix feeling confident. 18-point lead to win that quarter. Their efficiency has been off the charts. They're running their sets well with patience and purpose. And more NBA action on 2K Sports. Coming your way right after this.
ranked in 13th back in 2015. Devin Booker, for years, the lone bright spot in Phoenix. Now he's got some help. That's what I've been waiting for my entire career in basketball. Night in and night out. Keep my head down. Um, staying locked in and seeing tunnel vision. Trying to play the right way through it all. Um, you know, I want to keep winning basketball games. And, you know, we have the culture and the foundation around here to make it happen. That's got to feel pretty special. That's so true. I mean, to stick it out and get this organization back on the winning track, that's how legacies are made. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but plenty of time left for a comeback. And guys, the Suns enjoy a nice lead here. Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. Pretty fine example here of how to space the floor and do it correctly. You can do it. That's the kind of thing that happens. Ball and Booker in the talented backcourt. Bridges and Johnson are the forwards. And it's McGee in at the center, locking down the middle. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Coffee can't get it to go. Not sure how he finds himself in so much space there. He's keeping himself for whiffing a bit on that one. Here's a three for Paul. Bridges has a lot of jobs for his team, but if he can 
consistently knocks down three and add it to the list. Here's Coffee. Inside. Here's Covington. Oh, and makes it with a kiss. Covington's got his first basket of the night. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Pass to Paul. Here's the three. Covington grabs the board. Los Angeles has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Down low. Here's Kennard. Oh, McGee with the block. It's Booker on the wing. Defended by Jackson. Seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Back to Jackson. The three is up. They grab their own miss. Pass to Hartenstein. Second chance effort. Knocks it loose. Kicks it out to Jackson. He drops it from range. Jackson's got five points in the quarter. Good play call and good execution. The offense running on He's going to get the defense's attention right there, so he relies on being a little bit nimble to get the shot off. Oh, the Clippers making a change here. Jeff and Booker. Oh, free throws good from Booker. Seven seconds left in the first half. Here's Jackson. Oh, Aiden with the block. Devin Booker. He's feeling it tonight. He's been the driving force for the Phoenix Suns. Totaling 26 points and showing no signs of letting up anytime soon. We'll be right back with you shortly. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Devin Booker putting in some incredible work. He ended up with 26 points and 5 assists. It's hard to imagine how he could have been any better in the first two quarters. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? They're getting everything they could ask for at the perimeter. Finding open shots, making the defense look oh, this hot. You don't like to say that, but that's the difference. If that defense has to adapt. The threes will just keep coming down if they don't. And Shaq, your take on the Clippers. Just bad interior defense from them throughout the half. They're getting pushed around. That's what they really want. Allowing easy looks. That's kind of the deal I love to face. I haven't had at least 30 by now, guys. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly in the second. Boy, we're seeing a tremendous game from Devin Booker. He took a head-on approach in the first half, going straight at the D and drawing fouls. Yeah, almost inviting contact, that attack mentality on full display. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it's been a runaway foul on the floor for the Clippers. Morris and Zubats play together in the front court. Reggie Jackson out there with Terrence Mann. And it's Batum in at the three. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. Oh, my, oh, my. And that was textbook defense. Positioning himself well to send it back. Aiden. With three bridges. 
now. Inside. Here's Zubac. And Aiden pulls it down. Aiden's got five rebounds tonight. Pass to Bridges. Fires for three. Bucket. He's now nine for 11 after that one. Wow. Five consecutive threes. This defense looking very frustrated right now. Some people don't give Chris Paul enough credit for his outstanding shooting. So he can knock it down. You can't give him any room. here in the second half of play. We're just over a minute in. A nice hey, shot by Zubas. <laughs> a great move. I mean, the he defense has move. no response. Well, just oh. ripping through right there as he, he finds the open spot and gets right through there. High basketball IQ play. And it's out of bounds. Phoenix ball. Still Phoenix's ball. Well, Grant, Chris Paul just gets more and more reliable as a shooter, even after all these years in the league. Yeah, I mean, he's always been smart with his shots, but he has great efficiency for a guard, and he could easily put up bigger scoring numbers, but that's not his focus. Booker, good. This is what it's been since halftime. Remarkable results from downtown. Yeah, pretty infectious right here, guys. In good spirits and percentages from downtown on the rise in the second half. With impressive quickness, Jackson is usually able to stay a step or two ahead of the defense. And that one falls for Jackson. Shoot is Shamit. He's checked in for the Suns. And so Jackson nails both of them. And it's the Suns with the ball. Three-pointer Bridges. And again for three. Carries his tenth triple of the game. Unbelievable, B.A. Unbelievable. To the wing on the left. Three-pointer. Batum gets the bucket. Batum's got ten. Good, solid start to the half. Hitting three out of four. Pass to Bridges. Puts up a three. Go! Another for three. He's been on the money from deep. Definitely looking to shoot as much as possible. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Aiton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Clippers with the rebound. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. And that's a one-game homestand for the club. But two gets the bucket. Disappointing as a player to have such a great game and still be trailing. Not over yet, though. Now here's Paul. Six points for him. From deep. And the Suns get another three. They've been pretty last with their perimeter defense, giving up a lot of three-pointers. To the middle. Here's Batum. And he makes it on the layup. Batum's got nine points in the quarter. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. 121 left in the third quarter. It's Bridges on the wing. And makes it again from the threes has no end in sight. He just keeps knocking them down. And that latest triple ties him for second for most threes in a game. What a monster performance from deep it's been. And they've been moving the ball really well tonight. Good things come to those who take good shots. No good from outside. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. His man. Ooh, Aiden with the block. Crowder goes in. Yes, it's good. 
Roberts got his first points of the game. Great leader to CP3, statistically one of the top ten assist men, not just in the league now, in the history of the game. And that's number four, definitely something to keep track of as we move forward. Fifteen foul. And that one falls for Jackson. And a new group getting ready for the Suns. Biombo, he's checked in for Aiton. Craig comes in for Crowder. Johnson, he's checked in for Bridges. And it's Devin Booker in for Shaman. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. From deep, Johnson on target from range. The assist numbers certainly stand out. They've really emphasized ball movement here today. Here's Covington. That basket is good. Robert Off Robert the assist Robert. from Jackson. Jackson's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. And it's Phoenix's ball. Pass to Biombo. Now here's Paul. Defended by Jackson. Paul, shot is off. Now here's Jackson. The three. And Biombo with the block. And he recovers it. At the end of the third quarter, a huge lead. This one may have already been decided. The Suns on top, running away with it. And we'll be back with you shortly. Taking it the other way. Driving in. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot. And will go to the line. Ojale, he's checked in for the Clippers. Well, Brent, there are over 50 NBA players from the continent of Africa or with family ties there. And the NBA is investing in Africa's infrastructure for basketball. Well, they're building courts there. The league is going to grow there. And I think within five years, B.A., we're going to have an influx of talent and the players are going to come in from the NBA and make a huge impact. They keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Here's Coffee, And they come right back with their own three-pointer. These teams are finding the range, showing a lot of confidence. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. The shot by Holiday, no good. For Los Angeles, they've gone three of five since this fourth quarter started. Here's Ojale. That three's off the mark. For Phoenix, they've gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Biombo goes in. Outside Payton. The three from Craig. Rebound by the Clippers. Pass to Ojale. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. And here's Holiday. The three ball. Gets the three ball to go. Holiday's got eight points here in the quarter. Now you have to extend that defense. I mean, you really have to stay connected to them at all times. I'm not sure what the defense collectively was thinking there. you got to know where he is at all times. For Phoenix, they've gotten only two of six attempts to drop in the fourth. 
pass to Craig. Fires the three. Offensive rebound. Biombo. Outside Holiday. Second chance shot. Oh, they get a hand on it. Out of bounds. And out of bounds. The Clippers will take it. I know people can't see you, but you're doing what I'm doing. Scratching your head to that turnover. Shamit, he's checked in for McGee. And a switch here also for the Clippers. Hood, he's checked in for Coffee. If you're just joining us, fourth quarter here. We're just over two and a half minutes into it. A nice yeah, shot by Ojale. And kind of like playing in the rec league, little to no defense on that possession. And the easiest three-pointer you can imagine. Pass to Shamit. From deep three-point range. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Shamit's got his first three points of the game. For Los Angeles, they've gotten four of nine shots to go in during this fourth quarter. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. All right, here's a different question for you, partner. I'll be taking notes. Did you have a favorite city for food in the NBA? We'll write this down, PA. So my mom is from New Orleans, so I know New Orleans very well. And so New Orleans was my favorite city. Just thinking about it. <laughs> now here's Kennard. Hardenstein goes. Here's Ogilvy. Uses the glass to finish Jimmy the layup. Ogilvy. Precision pass into the post. Well earned assist. Phoenix has gone four of nine from three point range in the fourth. Holiday from long range. Hardenstein pulls it in. Hardenstein's got six rebounds now in the game. And you can see how scary this team can be when everything is clicking for them. Just a terrific performance for the Suns. And it was a big-time performance across the board. They looked like they were having fun out there, Grant. <laughs> yeah, B.A., it was almost like watching a cat play with a mouse ball. I mean, they did pretty much anything they wanted to do out there today. And they're going to win this one, making this their 47th victory so far. They battled one themselves a 2 one advantage. Time. And one player just stole the show tonight, doing everything for his team. A monster night for Mikhail Bridges. Now this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. Now here's Kennard. And Craig pulls it down. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Holiday. And Holiday powers it home. An impressive job by this team. And you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight trying to lead their team. That can always help. That the home advantage of Isaiah home Hart fans Hart. getting you going. Fully on display here. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. You gotta give them respect. They're doing everything they can to close this out. Love that the guys are staying aggressive late in this ball game, just not wanting to let go of the rope. One side has dominated tonight. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job of imposing their pace and style of play. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. Kennard outside. So it's the sun. appreciate their masterful performance and i'm sure their fans appreciated it too we saw the outstanding defense and a loaded offensive effort and they were just dominant out there and that'll do it folks alongside brent perry grant hill and Ali the force this is brian anderson with our entire 2k crew thanking you for watching we'll see you next time